about setting set the environment variable so that uh, it is recognized throughout the system so what we'll do is we will go to platform tools and we will just copy this whole address and we will open go to our system we'll tap on advanced system settings click on environment variable we will uh, find path here okay and we will tap on edit and will not click new please uh, pay attention and we, we will not create a, a, a new a new for this one we will just edit the old path if you create a new path uh, what it will do is it will override the previous path and uh, you it will screw up with the uh, number of functionalities with your system so what we will do we will just tap on the on the path we'll tap on edit it will give you the list of path that is present in the in the environment as i have already added this path i don't need to add it again you can do, uh, do this just by clicking on new and add for older versions like uh, windows 7 and 8 or or below win, uh, below windows 10 you won't be getting this kind of interface you, you will just uh, get a window uh, i'll just show you the kind of window you'll get it will just be a kind of window like this where uh, you have to mention the path here so make sure not to override any of the things that is present just put a semicolon and paste the path so that will be uh, how you will be setting the path another thing you will have to do is to create a android home in this you need to uh, click on new and write down uh, the same you'll have to do the same i'll just show you this one as i created earlier click on this and write android home and mention the sdk android sdk folder that is present in your system do not mention platform tools right here uh, just until uh, sdk that will be c drive users and for me uh, it's done then app data local android sdk just that's it and we'll hit ok press uh, click on ok ok and we will launch our command shell command prompt and we will check if it's oh, it, it's recognized universally so for checking that we will just fire adb command and see uh, the system recognizes adb from uh, adb so this is how you set an environment variable for android system so this was pretty much an introduction to uh, android sdk and uh, in forthcoming videos even i will be uh, telling you more and how to use the tools and whatever we had been talking right now here uh, in this video so please uh, like subscribe and comment uh, for any uh, video requests please comment below and thank you for this